Stacy and Jay Spoon, East Coast Radio. Guys, as you know, I am a father of a six-year-old child. I think I deserve a congratulations well for done, being babes. able to yes. raise a child. Come to on, that Sanders age. Dad. Yes. Uh, I love being a parent, man. I, when I describe being a parent, I, I'll tell you this, right? There's no fulfilling feeling. In this world that beats being a parent I love it to my core It has changed me in so many ways In fact, I've learned so much From being Zander's dad Patience is one of the things that I've learned Because he's all over the place And I have to look at him and be like One day he'll come together and it'll make sense <laughs> But <laughs> and He's like Fully, fully actualized as a person Now it's confusing But one day One day is one day But one lesson that I, I, I truly treasure Is the ability to love someone Holistically There's no doubt That I love my son 100% So so if there's anything That I've learned From being a parent Or being Zander's dad Is how to truly love Stacey You've got uh, God children I do You get I what do. I'm saying Is there anything That you've learned Well you see, the thing is You've learned a lot About yourself Through your parenthood yes, journey yes, yes. I like, the, But the thing is These kids guys <laughs> They will, they will teach you things hey. they, they will unleash a can of teachable moments Whether you are ready to receive them or hey. not Whether you birth them or not hey. Whether you have to pay for the university fees or not So if you have like access to a child in some proximity They are constantly mind-blowing, right? So my, my two goddaughters, they're now But the one's matriculating And the other one's first year of varsity yeah. I've always been very blown away by how they can be young and and. Young girls I mean not so much anymore But growing up Watching them Very young Very innocent Very quintessential We love Barbie Mm, All that mm, kind mm, of stuff mm. But then at the same time So In like Intrinsically confident Just So Like And scholastically brilliant And and almost like They themselves are Juxtaposed Positions of themselves Like that you can be So young and so brilliant At the same time And now my partner's son He's taught me patience too Also he teaches me new words He teaches me about space Yeah Um, He's also now made me watch Like all the Star Wars stuff Okay So yeah He's also taught me That we can have pretzels for dinner And it's okay (laughs) Jeez hectic You've learned quite a lot Emancipated by the children Yes Yes. Have children they said You will learn many lessons So Casey And I'm sure you have A child in your life What's that one thing your child, children, nephews, nieces, godchildren, or children in your life, whether you're a teacher, whatever the case may be, what have they taught you? What what have they gifted you in terms of a lesson? 061-792-9495. Stacy and Jay Spoon. The weekend is upon us, and what we're doing is we're celebrating the kids, guys. We must. All the parents are like, yeah, this is the one who doesn't have any. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I I I I see what you're doing. I've my all of you so much and just a young reminder that school holidays are only four weeks this December <laughs> so only four weeks that you need Buckle to find the money up. that be be an entertainment destination do all those things and hold down a job yeah. and all that kind of stuff so just it's only four weeks guys we're going to be fine we're, we are we are asking you about all the lessons that you've learned from the children in your life whether they are your babies or you are the cool aunt like me or the godmother or the caretaker or the granny just all the lessons that you've learned from the youths. Yeah, send that voice note to this number 061-792-9495. We do have a mashup on the way in exactly 10 minutes time. But right now, Carrie has a few things that she would like to share. Hi, Stacey. Hi, Jay Sabu. Carrie here from The Crest. So the things my little ones have taught me is patience. And that time is so precious today you look they're small and they're nappies and they're so cute and tomorrow you can't even kiss them goodbye in front of the school gate time flies you've got to appreciate every single second you have with them and create the best memories ever get excited the weekend has begun i almost is it is it too early to say no 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 we are decembering already no Guys, close your laptops. Sissy, close did your you laptops. Just say that we are Decembering already. Was that a statement or a question? No, no, no. See, because I momentarily forgot oh. that we'd already launched December. Oh, please don't Softly. forget. Don't forget again. It's traumatizing to think because that it's also not December. The weather's great and it's a Friday. <laughs> yes. Yesterday, by this time, the weather was very sketchy, Bongo. So I feel like to not, it would be rude if you didn't take advantage of 
after a Friday afternoon. Man, it's a beautiful day. Just tell him Stacey and Jace boosted it's cool. Yeah, please yeah. go home, guys. Go home, guys. What are you trying to do? You're not going to get a promotion on Monday. Calm down. That's next year's problem. Uh, what we talking halfway about, through the fiscal? <laughs> what we talking about today is just well, we, it's a moment that we're delving into to appreciate the lessons that these small little monsters, <laughs> who we feed and take care of, and they so ungrateful. The lessons that they teach us, shame, can be so liberating. When you look, when you look at them, you're like, oh, yeah, I learned how to be patient. I learned how to TikTok. Yeah, look at you thriving, hey? Well, listen. Because of your goddaughters. If they, no, but also if there has to be a rich auntie. Come on now. It was the role I was Come born to pay. Now. Like, a, a pay? Did I say pay or play? Mm, happy accident. All of it. On the line, we have uh, Papadi. Welcome to the show, girl. Hey, Papadi. Hey, Stacey and Jace. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Hey, you've been learning lessons from kids. Oh my gosh, every day, all day. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, okay, so just for the record, KZN, backstory, Papadi is a phenomenal human being and yes. educator, right? She's also a wonderful friend, partner, just all round girl that like everybody should be friends with. Beautiful Aww. voice, uh, future president. So that's just the backstory. <laughs> now, like, are you here to rattle off a list of stuff that you've learned from all these kids, or do you have a top three? Oh, guys, I've got like. A group. Uh, let me let me just share with you guys. Go in. So these kids, I don't have children of my own, but mm. these kids, like I knew when I got into the job of pastoral care of children, I knew that I'm going to care for them, mm. but I didn't know I'm going to fall in love with them. Mm. And in saying that, not having my own kids, this is the first Mother's Day that I didn't cry out of sadness because I was oh. able to share that love I had for oh, having man. children with them and. Thing. They've taught them that you don't have to be a biological parent to be able to have cho- to love children as your own. Yep. Wow. Uh, yeah. Wow. You are so lucky, yeah. Papati. And I'm grateful that you are grateful for that. So, yeah. It's also just, I mean, like, again, I, I, I wish everybody could meet you because if she's you amazing. if you get, like, she's like in, in Papati's space for longer than five seconds, you can feel it. Mm. So the thing is, like, not, not only what those girls and all these children have taught you, but also what you in turn have given them. Beautiful. Like, another option, yeah. allyship, um, a different yeah. kind of conversation, a safe space. Mm. It, it, I mean, and as yeah. we all know, like, for those of us who are not quote unquote like biological moms it does take a village mm-hmm. and you're yeah. a really important yeah. part of that yeah. village yeah. so everything that they've taught you you give them back to them you are such Shout a gift out. you're Shout such out, a gift man. we love you thanks for party guys love you guys for party, love how, you. how I know personally that you love them kids is because once upon a time you booked Jay Smoo for them to come and entertain so I know that you That's love you, know. you love you those know. kids because <laughs> I mean yeah yeah <laughs> okay uh, alright you're man. done Jay Smoo M- thanks for pods have a nice weekend <laughs> Okay. Bye, bye. Bye, my oh, babes. There you go, man. What a beautiful story. What a beautiful experience. I can imagine. I mean, there are wow. obviously so like so yeah. many literal things, practical yeah. things, and then like next gen things and like life lessons that these kids will just, when you least expect it, just pop out. One thing quickly as we wrap up. The podcast, by the way, is available on ecr.co. We're going to play the mashup shortly. One thing that you have taught your god daughters that you reckon they'll keep for the rest of their life. Autonomy. Cool. Jeez, Auntie Stacy is peaking on a Friday. We got a message from uh, Tim Baker here on the WhatsApp line saying, guys, I have a nine-year-old who's in grade three. He has, like, rabbit teeth, and he's still too young for braces. Mm. So I've learned not only to be reassuring, not just about his teeth per se, but also about how I talk about my body and my wow. looks because I know that he's wow. watching and wow. he's listening. Like this is this is some goosebump stuff. Like I know that Oprah has retired, but we need to get her yeah. out of retirement so we can have this conversation on that stage because this is good. This is beautiful, man. You must be grateful for these lessons and you must hold them dear to your heart and you must pass them on to other people who need to learn them, right? Uh, so we did ask you, KZN, some of the lessons that you've been learning from the youngins in your life and uh, you have had quite a lot to say and I'm very impressed. Here's that mashup. Hi Stacey and Jay Spoo, it's Foxy here. So one thing my kids have taught me is that kids do what they see and not what they are told. So I was always under the impression, you know what, if I tell them as their mother to do A, that's they, that's what they're going to do, A. But unfortunately, it's B, A. Eh? If they see me do B, they doing B. Monkey see, monkey do. Hi Stacey and Jay Spoo, I am a new parent to a two-year-old girl 
And what she has taught me is that we need to be in the moment with them. Seeing children grow up from the time they're born and then you blink and then they're two and talking. Oh, this is Cameron here, by the way, from Reservoir Hills. Hi, Stacey and Joe's Birds, Mandy. Having a four-year-old has taught me just to stop and enjoy the little things in life as well. It's amazing to see the wonder on their face. It's something that you think is quite simple, but for them it's a big thing. So you learn to enjoy the little things as well. Stacey and Uncle Spool are where your one thing I've learned from my daughter is that no matter what, you are not prepared for teenage years. Yo. Hi, Stacey and Jay Spool. It's Tonogotli, the mother to the most beautiful two-year-old, Undaluente. Uh, what being her parent has taught me is that I thought I was raising Undalo, but Undalo is raising me. Um, so I've learned to approach everything with a fresh perspective, to be kinder, to be nicer, to be patient and understanding that she's too experiencing most things for the first time. Stacey and Chase Boo. Weekdays, 3 to 6 p.m. East Coast Radio.